Okay, it's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. I found Jeff Meisel of Brewery Meisel. <laughs> How are you doing? Great, great, yeah, great to see you, yeah. sir. And of course, Meisel's Chocolate Bock. Yeah, the fabulous 750 milliliter of the chocolate box. Yeah, Fantastic. you could drink the whole bottle. I know. Like this, yes. with a Chug dummy, bop, bop, with bop, a bop, dummy bop, bop. on the top. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I love that video. Yeah. That was great. Yeah. That was great. Oh, thank you, <laughs> thank you. Um, I've travelled to Germany. Um, we've landed. I, I found the owner of uh, Brewery Meisel and Meisel and Friends. We'll get to that in a moment. But first of all, Jeff, what do we have? Now, we, we have a collaboration with uh, Christian Merlein in uh, America. Yeah. Um, we did a teleporter, which transports us in time. Okay. It's a really strong, dark border with yeah. uh, around 9%. I think we got 8.6 alcohol yeah. uh, ABVs. And it's nice, chocolatey, caramely, a little bit toffee. Yeah. And I guess we'll just try it. I think so. Um, presentation, I think my glass, certainly, and your glass, fantastic lacing. Really lovely lacing. Uh, and an old brewer once told me, uh, the smaller the bubble, the better the beer. So as you rock that beer back and forth, you can really see the, uh, the, the smaller bubble chasing the... Yeah, I'll, tell you some, I'll tell you something new. Yeah. If you have, you drink a beer, and you have to see every sip you take on the side, nah. then it's a good beer. Right, That's okay. Impressive. You learn something <laughs> new every day. Every day is a blogger. Um, it looks fantastic. Jeff Black in the glass. Should we get the aroma? I think we should. Yeah. Let's see what you say. Fabulous, fabulous. Um, I'm picking up a mixture of like a milk chocolate, but with the roasted malt. It's like caramel. Yeah. Caramel. Maybe like maybe like some rum and some raisin and some fig. You know, like dark fruits in there. So supposedly what the, the hop phoenix mm. should bring into the beer, so that's exactly yeah. what you should smell. Okay. That's uh, sweet taste. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. 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 Oh yeah. Yep. I think I can drink some more of that. Stone the Crows! <laughs> Stone the Crows, what a fabulous beer. Um, first thing I get is a really nice kind of wrapping, dense mouthfeel. Mm. A lovely, lovely, rich, dense mouthfeel on the beer. Is that what you aim for? Yes, it's it's strong, but it's not. It doesn't kill your mouth. It's, mm. it's like you want to drink more. Yeah. But it's still you have this this feeling you can chew on it. Yeah. Just yeah. chew on it. Yeah. And that's that's nice. That's exactly what I want. Chocolate, coffee, caramel coming from the the roasted malts. Slight berries, yeah. but all only on the back, on the back yeah. end, yeah. and not too bitter. It, it has no. a nice, unique bitterness. It's, it, mm. it fits perfectly to the chocolate. Mm. And that that nine percent ABV, it blends very well with the, the the flavors. Kind of dominate the the alcohol, which is kind what of dangerous. it's meant to do. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's, a, it's a dangerous beer. Dangerously drinkable <laughs> beer. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I I really like it. A very quick beer review because I want to interview Jeff at the same time. Uh, look at it, well, fantastic lacing, lovely look to the beer, great aroma. Yeah, I'm going to give that a great taste. I'm going to give that a 10 out of 10. Uh, I really believe that, you know, if I... If well, we, it, I have to give that uh, further on to Eric, Eric from Christian Merlin and Mark Goebel, our brewmaster. Yeah. They did it, they did a perfect job and I'm very happy because this is the first time I'm really tasting it also. Wow, okay, so, um, okay. perfect. Okay, um, so we're not in an office with a few people kind of <laughs> tasting and writing down. It, it's it's, no, it's we're having a good time with a with a blogger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. tasting. Um, so moving on with, with this interview, I'd like to talk to you about Meisel itself. I'm looking fantastic old building behind us. Um, I hear you've been brewing here for forever, really. How old is the brewery? Well, I'm fourth generation, so um, we started uh, 1887. Okay. And um, my father and my uh, my uncle were the ones um, bringing the beer nationally. 
and before the generations were more or less um, taking it um, the beer to a next techno step, okay. making it better, making it transportable. We were export beer brewery because we sold outside of Bayreuth in Neudrosenfeld, not in New York, but in Neudrosenfeld. Okay. So that's the export beer brewery, and then we turned to the wheat beer brewery, Meisels Weisse, yeah. with my father now. And that's the beer that introduced me to Meisel and friends, really, because I was in my local bottle shop in Wales in the UK. Okay. Picked up the, a bottle of Weiss beer, Meisel's Weiss. Really, really enjoyed it. I think I sent it to you guys on Facebook, and then we kind of got a, a, a nice rapport going together. I've reviewed a lot of your beers since. Oh, good. But the Weiss beer was the beer that really stood out for me. It was a very, very solid, really nice kind of Weiss beer. Mm -hmm. um, that's the history of the brewery. You then, as we just mentioned, Meisel and Friends is like a fork off in the direction of craft beer. It is. What it was is. the decision behind that? Well, basically in Germany, beer was um, becoming more and more only price. Price, 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 mm -hmm. and uh, volume, and uh, no, no really heritage and love and, and, and keeping behind it. And my mother's American, and I studied in America during the 1990s. And okay. that was the first period of the craft beer, and I really didn't like it. Okay, <laughs> all right, okay. And it was, it was too bitter, it was too much of everything. Yeah, yeah. But then, after the years, all my friends always told me, you try this, try this. And I must say, the beers got better and better. Yeah. So we decided it's a good time to introduce um, basically the Belgium beer styles. Big bottle, much mm. chocolate bottle. Yeah. Um, getting the wine drinkers and putting beer again to a niveau that we wanted to, where, where beer should stand. Yeah, yeah. It's not only something you just mass pour down, it's something you enjoy. Mm, and um, that worked out pretty good. And then the craft beer scene just started up in, in Germany and we didn't really expect it. We were in the Belgium style beer. Yeah. And then we said, hey, my mom's American, my name's Jeff, I'm American. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The history of a, a, a brewery doing beer specialities. So we should do it. So we started a pale ale and so on. And yes, we send it to you, we yeah. always got a good good report of that. <laughs> <laughs> you guys who watch um, my videos on a regular basis will know all about Meisel and Friends. Um, you'll always know that kind of when they release a beer, they get sent to us, which is very nice. It's very nice to be able to drink really good, really fresh craft beer from a German, from a German brewer and craft brewer. My next question to you is, where do you see Meisel and Friends going from, from here on now. I hear you've got a collaboration with McKellar coming up. Um, what direction are you going to go in with, with the brewery? Well, basically the, the Meisel and Friends is, uh, is, stands for um, putting beer on the level that we, should, that we all should think beer is. Mm. Something enjoyable, something you don't have to mass pour down, but yeah. something you, you stay there and say, hey, this is cool, this is nice, I'm having a good time, I'm living. Mm. And um, I think Meisel and Friends stands for um, handcrafted, but also for people that are behind it. So we're trying to get smaller breweries, um, we're giving them a hand, like tonight we have 11 breweries here yeah. selling their beer, and we want the community. Yeah. And it's not a volume game that we have, it's more or less something like if, if you taste the beer and you, you tell all the people oh, I like this beer, this is the best that we can have, this yeah. is perfect. And also if you say we don't, you don't like it, it's good because then we go, okay, what's wrong with it? What can we do differently? Yeah. Yeah. So it's a testing area. That's basically a testing area to see what people want in future. What can we make better? Our basis is always Mice and Spicy. That's our, yeah. our, our champion that we have. Which I'm looking forward to. I'm yes. here at the brewery. I want to drink some of that And you tomorrow. hadn't had it yet. Uh, so no, you no, hadn't no, had no, it no. Yet. In the bottle three years ago. <laughs> well, you'll, you'll get it here. Yeah. So, so I think it's an experimental field and we'll try just to do that what a brewmaster should do. Mm. Try, let people taste it like in our Liebes beer where we're at. And um, if people say, hey, this is good, then bring it to the bottle, bring it for on, and we'll see what time brings. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So will it, last question, will it be a mixture of 750 ml bottles, and it will, will it be a mixture of 330 bottles, or maybe even, I'm seeing a lot in the UK, a lot in America of, of canned craft beer. Is that something that you will look at in the future? Yeah, uh, basically, um, 
cans in Germany are not um, very light. Yeah. But basically, I think a good pale ale mm. or IPA, mm. and yeah, you yeah. crack it open, <laughs> and it's cold, yeah. and you pour down the half of the can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, perfect. So I would love to have it. It's not the best time right now. Yeah, Maybe yeah. for export markets, but um, we'll take some time with that. Yeah. But I think it'll be always different. Like um, we want the wine drinkers to also enjoy a beer, so that's more the 700 milliliter bottle. Yeah. And we'll probably bring more barrel aged beers in, into those bottles, and then we have the the um, 0.3 liter. Um, just for the the session beers, just to you know, yeah. you can chase one away and have a good time, yeah. and still yeah. have better aroma than a normal light beer. So it's always depending on what kind of crowd you want to address, and maybe we'll ha even have bigger or smaller bottles, okay. just whatever comes out. One more surprise question: <laughs> If you were to pair a beer with food, what would the food be, and what would the beer be? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Throw one in there. <laughs> okay, for, for sure it would be a Meisen Spicer. Yeah. Um, or at least a Weiss beer because I love the clove and uh, banana taste yeah. of beer and it's really refreshing. Um, what would the food be? That's the toughest question because I think it's always... I don't really compare or, or pair the beers with the food. I love the... Right now I want this, and right now I want this. Yeah, yeah. With the the, the Weiss beer, I personally um, love uh, a Frankische Brotzeit, which is just sausage mm -hmm. and bread and uh, cheese oh. and the mixture. And you get you, you eat the cheese and the sausage, and yeah. you get a totally different taste of the Weiss beer. Yeah. And then you eat some bread, and then you get a totally different taste of it also. So that's that's more mine because that's in Franconia, you know, that's some, just a fresh Brotzeit, mm -hmm. as we call it. Yeah. That's what I love with it. But I guess you can you can eat everything. Brilliant. Some people Brilliant. say fish. I wouldn't say so. I don't like no, fish. Too much. Not a fish. <laughs> no, no, not a fish. No, more hot dog or pizza no. or something like that. Yeah. You know? No, yeah. I, right now it's the burger, but burger fits with everything. Yeah. Spice, spicy yeah. meat is perfect with beer. So thank you for inviting me to your wonderful beer festival. Um, look out on the channel. We're gonna have lots of videos coming up tomorrow uh, and over the, the coming weeks from the, the, the Brewery Meisel Beer Festival. Um, high five, thank you very much. Simon, yeah. I'm honored yeah, to have you here. Thank you very much. <laughs> Cheers, Thanks. stone the crows. Cheers.